Welcome to Knock Bro Nation. Welcome back guys, Darrell here. And I am Josh, and today we're here to review episode seven of The Walking Dead. Open Ooh. your eyes. Open your eyes. Oh. Uh, man. Wow. Unexpected turn of events for Sadiq. A complete 360 story change for Dante, for what we know of him in the comics, which in the comics, not a very big storyline. We just know of him being Maggie's lover, but just a love interest. I mean, a complete 180 to where he was with the survivors in the comics, and he is a whisperer. But now I was I didn't pissed. pick up on it right away. Actually, are you serious? Dude? Yeah, like it took me a little bit to like, because because I, I guess I was so much in shock. Like, what the hell just happened? Yeah, like you're. I'm watching this, and I thought he was choking him out. I thought he was choking him out because. Previous conversations of Dante having P PTSD, he knows he was trying to calm him down. I didn't think he was killing him. I just thought that he was subduing him, like, you know, trying to get him to relax because, oh, no. because I thought it was Sadiq going crazy and Dante realizing, look, he's going to come after me. I have to try and stop him. Well, how, yeah, how they did it was, you know, we heard the clicking in his ear, which made him go to the flashback and we saw that it was Dante actually holding Sadiq's head while they killed Enid, holding his eyes open and doing the clicking as well. And then, it, you know, yeah. it showed him with the mask on in the mirror, but you yeah. could see the look in Dante's eyes when Sadiq turned around that Dante knew that he figured it out. Sadiq's looking at the axe like, okay, it's about to go down. Yeah, and, and look, I got it right away pretty quickly, but, yeah. but um, the clicking sound was pretty brutal because Dante back when that all was all going down, was doing that clicking sound to get him to open his eyes. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's that's it was, sick. It man. was brutal. And, uh, I mean, we, we knew that Dante did have a connection with Sadiq because, of course, as he's killing him, he says, I didn't want to do this, not this way, not you, not like this. And I, I really want to know the overall plan that Alpha had for Dante because this was this is like the basically the long game for Alpha, she is doing something that we all don't know what her true plans are. And yeah, excuse me, and I'm it, trying to pull up some notes. I here. mean, I, I told you that when we, uh, you know, before we shot this this video here, I was telling you that you know I didn't necessarily get the plan because if you. It, it, so she's already infiltrating Alexandria because Gamma's talking to Aaron. Now, you could make the argument that Gamma's not really giving much, whatever, right? But Alpha's already doing that plan or, or, or enacting that plan of Gamma trying to get information from Aaron. So, like, for me, if I was Alpha, strategically, I would probably place Dante in Hilltop, right? So, I don't know. I guess I just didn't... I, I didn't like it. As as I rewatched it and kind of figured things out, uh, the stuff with Gamma and Aaron is nice because we're seeing a dynamic between Aaron and Gamma, and we're kind of pulling Gamma in a little more. And of course, at the end, she realizes Lydia's alive. And that she, was and, awesome. And Alpha like, lied to me. Like, like, but did, did you know that? Uh, maybe I'm not paying attention at all this season. Like <laughs> <laughs> or this half. Did you know that Alpha lied to the rest of the group? Yeah, but she told Beta. Beta figured it I know it. Beta. I knew Beta, Beta figured knew. it out. I knew Beta knew. Yeah, Beta figured yeah. it out. But the, the rest of everybody else doesn't know. And But the thing with Gamma, though, is I think Alpha is having Gamma do this to test her. I think that because when Gamma came back and Alpha was there and that she, was a, she, pun she was punished a her. Brutal scene. She dude. punished her because I think she's testing her because she thinks that because even though Gamma killed her sister... She's still not completely on board. She probably heard of the whispers going around of the other people talking about the hilltop and maybe some uh, people who were wanting to defect. So I think that she's testing her to really, for one, how much information can she get? And two, will she stay true to the whisperer <laughs> like way? That scene when she turned and Alpha was just there. Mm -hmm. that she was, was freaked out. It was awesome. She was freaked out. I loved that scene. But I loved it because Alpha said one last guardian for our group. Like, yeah. why'd you kill it? Like, 
You know, like it showed her fear and Gamma was afraid and she killed it instead of doing what she should normally do and kind of maybe herd it away from her or herd it back to Yeah, I think it was probably a sign to Alpha, look, if she's killing this thing and it wanted to attack her, she wasn't properly doing what I've Correct. taught her to do. She wasn't. And there's a way. reason why she's not doing what I taught her to do because she's yeah. distracted. Yeah, so uh, there's a lot of other things. So with Dante, and there's some hints. Uh, Kristen Okuna who, from Insider gave some awesome hints that we've been getting to this season, but we'll get back to that. But uh, So the number one question I had was, what is Dante's plan? What was his overall plan from Alpha? I think Alpha probably instructed him to infiltrate and to um, kind of give information. So I'm wondering if, if Dante, maybe we'll find out next episode, Dante must be getting information out um, somehow, either you know, taking a stroll, either saying, oh, I'll go on watch. And as he's on watch, he places a note somewhere of some des destined I mean, I don't, I don't think we'll ever get that detailed of information because we're supposed to, we're supposed, from what I've heard, how they we're exchange supposed, we're the information. Well, we're, well, maybe we're supposed to get something next episode. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they could easily go as, uh, you know, as far as just him slipping a note through one of the side walls of Alexandria. I mean, it's that easy. Like, it wouldn't be the, in the, the walls. whispers are he, pretty he sneaky, dude. Like they could, they could, he could get it too many, so many ways. Yeah, yeah. And the other one was um, Lydia. So a lot of people, you know, including myself, it was like Lydia recognized the prisoner yeah. when they brought him in with a blindfold on. She yeah. knew, she knew exactly who that was. But why would she not recognize Dante? And I guarantee Alpha specifically chose him because she doesn't know him. So yeah, she chose somebody who who Lydia does not know because that would put her plan at risk if, you know, because I don't even know if, if Dante had any scenes with her. I can't remember when uh, Lydia got hurt if Dante help, you know, was helping her back or if it was any Sadiq. direct scenes. But you would think, think that yeah. she would, they would probably see each Yeah, other. I mean, uh, just go, you to know. go to your point, she knew exactly who that prisoner was and she yeah. didn't even need to ha have him. She knew that he was one that watched the Guardians, that he was one of the most loyal. That's what I loved about hearing that is that yeah, those, was pretty cool those, that. Who, those who heard the Guardians, the, the really special ones, those are the most loyal. That's the kind of details that I like. That's the details I yeah. like of how they you know, how Alpha controls her pack and how she does that. I think that was really cool. Yeah. That was really cool. Um, the stuff that really pissed me off was with Carol. Uh, I understand oh, what dear. she wants to do, but she completely she's, screwed over she's, Lydia. She's being way too reckless about it, too. It's not just the fact that she screwed over Lydia, but she's being so damn reckless about it. And Daryl's picking up on that. Like, why didn't she communicate with Lydia about what she was doing? It was a simple conversation she could have had. Because, I'll, I think I'll tell you why. I think because Carol, even though Lydia is part of their group, she's still, she's using her because she's a whisperer. She's not thinking, oh, let me go ask Lydia, uh, because this is time sensitive. Let me go ask Lydia if she would want to do this. No. She's mm -hmm. kind of thinking of her like, okay, I may have somewhat of a connection with this girl, but not really. But this is time sensitive, so I'm just going to throw Lydia in there and I think make her think. I think there's more of a connection than you than than it's than, possible because simply because, but maybe not just in that moment. It's the Henry thing. Yeah, yeah. like she was close to her quote unquote yeah. son, um, yeah. and and even earlier in the episode. Um, uh, Lydia says to her, I wish I would have went with Henry when mm -hmm. given the chance. And Carol says, I, I wish you would have too. Yeah. Um, but, and there's also that aspect of this is another child that Carol has under yeah. her wing and she failed her. Uh, yeah. I, I know she's just doing it to kind of go as quickly as she can to find this horde, but she's it. doing it at the, she's doing it wrong because she's lying to Daryl. Daryl's picking up on it. He didn't want uh, Carol to have Lydia do this because he's like, look, this girl has been through a lot. And it showed. Lydia's like, you're basically acting like my mom is. You used me. You used me. And yeah. she bounces out. I wonder where she's going to go. Dude, you I think don't... she's going to walk into the Whisperer camp? Hi, mom. I don't <laughs> Look no. what you told... No, I don't want to... Absolutely not. No, I like, think she'll we'll get into that in a predictions video. But... I, I bet Daryl will probably go find her. But anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, that stuff I just didn't like. But I, I I, mean, I understand what Carol is doing, but she's just not... Think <laughs> she's thinking more of her, her herself because even Daryl said, if we screw this up, everyone's going to pay for it. And that's the thing Carol's not thinking about. Yeah. 
Yeah. She's not thinking about everyone else. She wants revenge. I was actually glad to see Lydia hit her. <laughs> like oh, she, yeah. She completely deserved it. Yeah, she I did. Mean, she's just being reckless, and it's not like Carol to be like that. No. I. I th so I don't know if it's just, you know. It's everything. The loss of Henry. Everything. Was just. It's everything. Tipped it above the, you know. It's Henry. It's yeah. Ezekiel. It's all thinking about all the kids that she's lost along the way. It's everything. Yeah. You know, she she's probably like, I had a shot to kill Alpha right there, but you guys didn't give it to me, so I'm going to do what I can. She missed. It. Well, she missed because Michonne hit her hand. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, um, I mean, yeah, the guys, the, the biggest thing, Sadiq, I just, I felt so bad just because this guy has been dealing with so much since the barn incident, and he was getting close to really... Getting himself back on track, like, you know, Rosita set his ass straight. Well, okay, so... In a way. Was he, though? Like, was he close? Uh, well, like, not like, close yet, but I think he was on the path to maybe... I think he was to, on the... I think discussing... To start. With, discussing with Rosita was a big step for yeah, him yeah. going in the right direction. Yeah. And, and you... You're right. He's not close. He was just... After that conversation, though, yeah. and you'll agree with me, like, you felt like, okay... I think he's got it. We got it. We, right. we got it under control. We finally communicated with someone because he wasn't doing it any... I mean, Dante had to guess about, guess what was going on. Yeah. Which <laughs> which goes into the fact that Dante knew what he was going through. Yeah. And, it, you know, also Sadiq, ding, 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 figured out, oh my God, it's the water. But I was pissed because, like, why didn't you tell her? Tell... Rosita. Didn't... He said, go home. She was like, what's wrong? He's like, nothing. Go home. He's I like, am, why didn't you say it's the water? But it, I just felt bad because, like, he was starting to, and then he gets killed. And it's always doctors, man. It, it, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I was It's thinking. always doctors. I'm like, what, another doctor? Like, there's no doctors Can left. Can a doctor Don not survive? Dante is dead? not... Uh, He's not a real... Well... It doesn't matter. You're not going to use him anymore. Yeah. I don't know. We don't know what experience he had, but I think he was just helping out. But anyway. Um, you know, know, another thing that was sad about that is Rosita saying, look, we need you. Your your daughter needs you. Mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. that was... That it's sucked. Tough. It was tough. I mean, just... I, I just... Another child oh. loses their father. Yeah. <laughs> it's sad. Um, I didn't want to see Sadiq go. I really didn't. I didn't either. You know, and a lot of people were, I kept hearing uh, or seeing on Twitter, like, oh, uh, well, Carl saved his life, and then two seasons later, he dies. Like, he fulfilled Carl's legacy. It's not, well, two seasons later, but he survived seven years, technically. Mm -hmm. uh, he fulfilled Carl's wishes. He, he, he tried as much as he could. He, he truly and, did. You know, and I think he did a good effort. I he think lived, everyone... Yeah, he yeah. lived, he saved people, he did whatever he could for the community that is ex to help rebuild what carl wanted what rick wanted what everyone wanted he did exactly carl's wishes so no he he did not let carl down it wasn't for he didn't carl didn't die for nothing and and, and, and look you, you could know. you could make an argument in in his last ditch effort or his last moment he he saved the community from what could have been a pandemic right from mm -hmm. the water right so he figured out the water not not dante not anyone else he figured it out yeah for um, now i mean we'll see the repercussions in the next episode yeah but i think they'll figure it all out uh so i wanted to go over these some of these hints that kristen okuna left out of uh, kind of hinting about this betrayal of dante so early on um so i do have to apologize for some of the people out there who said who were iffy that Don they're like Dante is a whisperer. There's something weird about yeah, him. Yeah, but how many people but were saying that Sadiq, Sadiq was yeah, a whisperer? Exactly. And a mole? So exactly. Uh, you're eating crow right now because <laughs> Sadiq got murdered. Yeah. by a by a mole. So one of them was that you know Sadiq kept focusing on Dante's mouth. That was kind of when we first saw the introduction. And we and at first I was like I didn't. The only thing I picked up on was that he was just going into a flashback, not necessarily because in the flashback. Sadiq wasn't looking at Dante's mouth. Dante's mouth was to his side. He wasn't looking at his mouth. And, but, and, and look, we're not going to pick up on that. Right, but it's just the know. fact of maybe focusing on somebody's mouth because all he was looking at was whispers. So that part yeah. I get. Uh, Alpha knew how many times the group crossed the border. That's where I'm thinking Dante relayed that information because she knew about them crossing during the storm. He's probably been in there since then, yeah. you know, feeding this information. Yeah, the real question is when. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like when? How long has he been, you know, a mole? Because we got introduced to him in this season. He was already in the community. Yeah, he was already in. Uh, so Sadiq remembers Dante's clucking while trying to focus on surgery. So when he they were helping Carol, 
when Sadiq started to go into his flashback, you hear that same clucking. Now, I don't think it was Dante doing it in the surgery yeah, I room. I think he was, it was doing it. It was just foreshadowing what was to come because he heard that, yeah. but he didn't put it together yet. But it's the fact that Dante was right there in it was, the same room it, with him exactly. that probably brought that back. Yeah, yeah. somehow. And so also, um, what was it at? Uh, oh, there was another part where, where Sadiq was focusing on his daughter's mouth. He, his daughter was resting and he was holding her. And... Uh, not sure why, but something maybe with the mouths, more of whisper masks. Yeah. That's all he could see. Um, Dante knew about the poison water, so it implied that Dante knows the water was tampered with, and he continued to do this to make the community sick. So hopefully we'll find out next episode, you know, how maybe Dante figured out the water supply. Maybe he tampered with the, uh, the controls, and so when people were thinking that, they were pouring good water. They were pouring the tampered water, and only Dante well, I mean, he, knew about he that. He knew about the water from the. We, we we have to assume he knew about the water and Alpha's plan. Yeah, um, it's just how did he even need to do anything to get the water into the community because it was already probably flowing into the community anyway. Well, they that had, was a reserve. Well, they have yeah. Well, that's where they get the water from. Yeah, yeah. And so he has. So they had drinkable up, undrinkable down. So I wonder if he changed it to where. When people were pouring well, the drinkable, Sadiq, it was actually pouring Sadiq it. Sadiq bent it to what we assume was... If somebody the, bent it. it he, he, he bent it. I'm assuming that Sadiq bent it to the correct position. Yes. It was bent the in other the wrong way. position. Exactly. Meaning somebody did that. Yeah. I'm thinking it's Dante. Oh, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's... Wow. That's brutal. Yeah. I mean, this plan is insane. And then um, the prisoner, when they brought the prisoner in and Dante was one of the first ones to speak to him... You see the prisoner look at him. He look he looked at him in the eyes. And Dante said to him, Don't try anything. And the whisperer says, you know, never. So I think that whisperer knew who Dante was and was kind of like, Okay, you're infiltrated. I gotcha. Yeah. I'm good with it. But then I think maybe in the end, uh Dante killed the whisperer, probably thinking maybe Maybe eventually he'll break. Maybe he'll say something. So I'm just gonna kill him now and, and make sure my plan is still good. And not and nothing will come in between that. Well, I don't think he was there during the peanut butter and jelly scene. He wasn't. No. Uh, but you, I'm I'm thinking he probably has to assume. Look, Alpha's feeding us her way of life, and mm -hmm. once they get a taste of exactly the proper life, the promised land. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're gonna wanna you know possibly talk and stay where they're at because it's comfortable yeah. it's it's the way life should be yeah um and maybe he sensed that but uh yeah it was it was brutal but to make it to make to pot it off like it was Sadiq because Sadiq has PTSD he could have packed the wrong thing in his bag he wouldn't know right or he would he would question himself which Sadiq he, did which he did yeah so, so was... he's playing the part dude which yeah. that's what I'm saying the episode yes I I didn't enjoy it at first, but the, when I watched it again, I was kind of like, okay, the things I don't like, I still don't like, but the overall story of it with the the betrayal and the infiltration of, of Dante, I'm like, all right, I'll like, tell this you, is getting crazy. Like, I want to know how Alpha proposed this yeah, to him. I, I'll tell you how I know that it was good writing, right? Uh, because we liked Dante. Yeah, like you liked Dante. He was weird, but he, I liked him. I loved the character. Yeah, right? and, and at the end of this episode, or he is weird. Maybe me not picking up on it was simply because I didn't want to believe that Dante could do this. I, it I'll, was, I'll, I'll tell you, all of you guys right now that probably commented and said something's weird with Dante. He's probably a whisperer. I just. I guess I couldn't wrap my head around it no, at the time. No, because we're comic book fans, and that's right. not what Dante is. And right. unfortunately, that's the downside of reading the source material and being a fan of the source material, is you think that this is the way it's going to be, even though the show's remixed things multiple times. But is this the first time they've taken a character from the source material who was a survivor and turned them bad? I don't. Yeah, this would probably have. To I be think the first this is time. the first time yeah. they've used somebody from the source material and completely reconfigured their their storyline to where they are bad. I think this is the first time. I mean, they've remixed storylines, but they've never taken a good person and made them bad. Yeah, I mean that's that's threw us off. And right? that's and that's why. But yeah. I love it though. But I love it that people picked up on that. I mean, 
you have to have a good inclination of, okay, he's weird. And people were picking up on, but that, well, Sadiq was staring at his mouth, so he's thinking of whispers. Look, but, but it's like, but hold know. on, though. It's hard, I, I, though. That's Dante's character. He's yeah. weird. I mean, we were we were brought we were introduced to this character playing, acting that way. Exactly. Yeah. So if you if you're a fan of 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 the source material and you know who Dante is, he's quick, quirky comments. Yeah. Um, and then you get introduced to him being like that. Now it was kind of more in the show than no. it was in the comic book. Yeah. We don't embellished. hear from him too much in the comic book. Yeah. And we other, can't see facial expressions. Yeah, and things other than his reading. little one liners to Maggie. That's who he talked to. Right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I threw me off. It threw us off. But I mean, we definitely knew Sadiq was not a traitor. Uh, at first we yeah. thought maybe he, they made him participate, but making him watch each and every single one is heartbreaking, and we even, knew we knew the the worst ones were Tara and Enid. Even going back to those quick scenes, those quick flashbacks mm -hmm. was tough to watch, brutal. Because you could hear Enid screaming uh, right before the end. You know, it like, was it, he said Enid's name. Well, so those Enid and Tara were the two. And that's, what's crazy is that were precious. This to is going to get a little gruesome here. Yeah. But in one, Alpha does a swipe and and clean off, takes the head off. Mm -hmm. But it looked like Enid. What, there was some sawing action going on there. Yeah, because I think probably she could tell that this person is special to him, so I'm going to make him suffer even more. Yeah, I just saw a couple motions uh -huh. like that. I don't know if you picked up on that. I really don't know if you could actually swipe that off with one chunk. No, I don't think you can. I don't think you could. That's well, who knows? I mean, it's not like a guillotine back in the Middle East. I'm not a murderer. Ages, but yeah, we're not murderers. <laughs> no. <laughs> But guys, honestly, I mean, let us know your thoughts. It, it was a great episode. There was, you know, I, I'm still not liking the whole the whole storyline with Carol and Lydia. I'm loving the gamma stuff. I'm loving that. I'm hoping that we get more. And I, I just, I love that. You know, Gamma is really thinking about it. Yeah, and, and of course now. Unfortunately, she's not going to have an opportunity to betray uh, Alpha. Um, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll, well, yeah, knowing what's possibly coming, but I. I mean, to be honest, dude, like, well, we'll stay with our predictions, but I won't mention it right We'll now. talk about this off video. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> let us know your thoughts of the episode. I mean, it was it was written really well. The surprises, the changes, the just the utter excitement and just awe. Because I'll tell you right now, I screamed, what the fuck, when I figured that Dante was a whisperer. I was like, I what was, the like fuck? Like I said, I was confused and then immediately <laughs> figured it out. Um, I immediately pause the video. I'm standing up, walking around, like, "Are you kidding me right now?" Yeah, like <laughs> it. it uh, yeah, that was heartbreaking. It was heartbreaking. Yeah, let us know in the comments, guys. Make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Smash the like button. It does show your support, and we truly love to see your feedback. So once again, stay tuned for our predictions video for the mid-season finale. Uh, we'll hopefully see if we can do a reaction video. If not, we apologize. But sometimes, like we said, um, schedules can get a little crazy, so it might be hard. But uh, once again, let us know. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're not coronation. We're out.